Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's continue to our uh, series. Uh, here we go. Uh, we've done what we've done. What we did in the last video was to show you guys how to use the label component in in Visual uh, C Sharp. Let's delete this component. Uh, we're gonna introduce a new one today, which is going to be the text box. As you guys can see, we need to delete this because this now is useless. So let's come back to our main form. Let's click in two box. Uh, we're going to add a test text box, as you guys can see here. Let's drag and drop over here. So this is used to kind of use as a input for text. OK, let's come to properties. You guys can see we have some of the properties. Let's change the font property. Let's select another a font let's select the 16 um okay so you guys can see here uh we could uh, there's a property called text which you guys can uh let's say uh insert text here if we do this we're gonna see this let's execute so you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about um precisely so you guys can see uh if i do this i uh, can you guys can see that we have some text here I can select this and delete. And delete. And we could uh, input some text such as uh, "Hello World," "Hello World," etc. So you guys can do this, uh, etc. Okay. So uh, let's talk about some of the properties that this has. So let's delete this text. Okay. We're gonna double click the main form. We're gonna come to this method in which you're gonna talk. Uh, more in detail in the next video or the properties of this form. So uh, let's say you guys just need to know about this. Okay, that this method called private void form one load object sender event args e. Okay, so this event is called whenever the the instance of the program is called. Okay, so let's say uh, uh, the name of this object as you guys can see is. Uh, text box one so you guys need to keep that in mind uh, we could you could type text box and you guys can see that it shows up uh, let's change the text text equals um, hello world something like that so let's execute you guys can see that you we, we assign the text inside of the text box as expected we could change other properties as example dot enable let's see dot enable enabled equals false if i execute this the text box not enable you guys can see i cannot use it because it's not enabled yet uh, let's come back to our designer and we're gonna double click the text box you guys can see here watch what, what we're gonna do is basically uh call this this method so this method is called whenever we enter some text okay so private void text box one text change is called whenever the text changes itself so uh we can as access the the text so let's do some fun stuff let's assign the title of the window as the text that is being typed inside of that text box so let's do this which is this form dot text text not text box one text is going to be equals to uh, text box one dot text okay so let's execute and we should see that uh, whenever I type the text of the window is exactly uh let's say this is a simple example okay so you guys can see that we have this it's very simple there's no much uh, more to talk about it so i'm gonna finish this video here and the next we're gonna show more about windows form so thank you guys for watching this guys next time